For a few years now, we've seen fitted to factory conversions of the Fiat Ducato, Citroen Relay, Peugeot Boxer or Dodge Promaster opening rear windows for the back doors. These are a high quality product which certainly look good and add a lot of appeal to a factory conversion. These items have previously been unavailable to, to the DIY market. But now thanks to Magna Motorhomes in the UK, these products are now available to purchase and install yourself on your own conversions. This is an honest review of the package as it arrives and also please see our next video of the full installation process. So what we're showing here is effectively half the kit. So you also receive two blinds. Two blind assemblies, That's if you've optioned this, they are an optional extra. Nice assemblies with our blinds, our fly screens, all of the ability to open them fully, to be able to open the window, that access the window. And they fit the window perfectly. They're fitted last once you finish the internal decor, so we'll put those aside. They're very easy to install with screws for each corner and then caps that cover the corner. So let's put the blind aside and have a closer look at the window. So in the kit you will receive two windows. They are the same, the doors are symmetrical. They fit the full width of the door and the full height of the window reveal on the door. You can check your measurements to confirm that, but obviously you see the pictures, how nicely they fit. The window comes pre-installed with its top hinge plate and you need to install this section of the hinge. So you, you install it that way up using screws through the holes bit of cedar on the back in the in the slight channel focus 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 there you go and that secures the van now you will notice it's too long so if we line it up that end we're running considerably longer than the hinge of the window so it does need to be trimmed and if we trim at both ends at least we keep our screws symmetrical but they will be covered by the window as it comes down so that will be installed like that the window will then hook into that assembly and hang on that. So once we have our top rail assembled we know where the top of the window is going to go and you could in theory hang your window on it just have a look you can always remove it again but soon after you're going to need to cut your hole. So Magnum Motorhomes have very kindly provided a cutting diagram. We see at the bottom we have our window aperture WA so 560mm window aperture centered. We have a 500mm window aperture for the, for the vertical, starting 96mm from the top of the window. So for our height, we've measured 96 from the top of the window down, start our, our top cut, come down 500, that's the lower, and then the width is 560. The corners, window aperture four times a radius of 75 mil so there is a 75 mil radius and this will all become far more obvious when it comes to the installation process which we'll show in another video and when you see how the how the back door is actually assembled so let's pop that aside for now our window comes each window comes with two rams and these clip on the tabs are pre-installed so there's no confusion there they clip on there's a small hole if you wish to release the tiny clip inside so they just slide on we won't push them all the way now and then the top the instructions show you where these will be screwed but they tend to become quite obvious once you're at that point the other side goes the same it still has its plastic arms it is a customer's window you have a lower catch again installs the same and then for each position we have our, our locking plates one, two, three, which will allow the window to be fully closed or just left on the jar. When we cut our reveal to 560mm wide, 500mm high cut in our, in our metal work, we then need to clad the inside with some timber, with some woodwork with appropriate thickness and then put our finished inner board on, on top. The total thickness of all that should be within what's permissible by this rubber. So our rubber goes around the reveal. This is the outside, so that will push against our window. We'll screw or staple around our woodwork, and then this area, this piece here, would seal against the external paintwork, and this side would fit over our interior trim. So 
So I've seen here you see how the rubber fits over our cut metal work with the balloon section of the rubber seating against the window and you see the distance left for our internal timber work. Total width of that internal section is about 30mm, so desired wall thickness 30mm or thereabouts will be ideal. Once we've installed this, ideally we would start from the bottom of the window, work around our reveal, come around back down again, so our joints at the bottom and will be covered by our, by our lower catch. Once that's stapled and secured, we then have some trim to fit inside those top grooves. It's a game to put that in, but it's a bit of fun. Just be patient, sit there and work it round. Again, working from the bottom or behind, certainly behind where one of the catches go and the screws will help it to stop shrinking and moving. So that's how our rubber fits round. These are high quality products, they are not cheap. This one retails at £575 from Magna Motorhomes and we're unaware of anywhere else you can, you can purchase this kit from at this point. We're not sponsored by them, this is an honest review and in another video we'll show the installation. But certainly you'll see from these pictures how nice they look when installed that you can't achieve that look with any other product on the market at the moment. So I hope that's been in some way informative.